<clears throat> Welcome to Latino USA. We have Nova from the Grupo Cha and Vincent Veloso. You play sax. Nova, you're one of the co-founders of the of the group. That's correct. Yes. And I have to say, when I um, first I heard the description, you know, somebody was talking to me about your group, and they were like, "Well, it's kind of Dominican uptown, you know, chill out music." you know, with a cool vibe, and I was like, wait a second, wait a second, I'm married to a Dominican. Chill out is not the kind of, you know, verb that, or chill out is not the uh, kind of adjective that I would use for usual Dominican music, and so I was like, I have to hear them, and in fact... But that is pretty chilled out. It is chilled out, but you guys are definitely chill. And I want to know, Nova, where did it come from? Well, it came from living in these times and coming from the roots that we come from basically it's it's just that simply that result of uh, blending the um basically i came from from um a little town in the dominican republic called ato mayor which when i used to live there they didn't even have pavement roads it was all dirt roads and then i came here to the united states and it's like 180 degrees different than it was over there so it's kind of like trying to redeem both cultures and this, whatever it comes up, and it's, it's not meant to necessarily be chilled or hyper or whatever, it's just whatever comes out, comes out. Okay, but, but you did grow up probably listening a lot to hardcore merengue, maybe, you know, older merengue from your folks, which is a little bit slower, um, you just stuff with a definite beat, rhythm, danceable. When do you remember hearing something that kind of clued you into what you were going to end up producing in, in your life as a musician? Well, growing up, um, it was very common for me to be eating lunch at 12, like everybody does in the Dominican Republic, and suddenly hearing drumming, just drumming. No merengue, no nothing, just drumming. The peasants doing their thing. And honestly, throughout my life, that's what's been kind of driving me to do music. You know, that kind of echo from, from my childhood of hearing those drums and they just made me feel a certain way and that's how I feel when I make music, basically. But you've got that, that, that vibe, you know, about suave, cool, and I want to know, you, you must have a recollection of, I don't know, listening to Brian Eno, I mean, that's what I think of, but you know, the, who was it that, that got in your ear and said, you you can make music like this. Oh, myself. <laughs> that is, that's just it. I think it has to be yourself because, I mean, honestly, I, I don't consider myself, consider myself a musician. I, I like to create, I paint, video, whatever I want to do at any particular point I do. And throughout, you know, this whole time, I've had people telling me that I cannot do whatever it is that I do. And I said, that's what you say. You can go ahead and underestimate me. I'm not going to commit the mistake of underestimating you. And here I am doing what I love doing. And that's pretty much it. Now, I want to I wanna talk a little bit about the history of the group. Um, when we first met, you were talking about, well, you know, I've been playing for a long time. Remember King Chango? And I was like, wow, that is far back. But, you know, it's like a decade. It's about. About a decade. You've been in this scene for a while. Um, talk to me about the beginnings of you in the scene and, and when you realized, no, 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 I, I want to do my own thing and I can do it. Mm. Well, I started frequenting um, SOBs like a while back. like. And we should say that SOBs in New York City is a club which stands for Sounds of Brazil. Yes. And um, they were doing all of the Spanish shows there. Um, Café Tacuba used to come and play. Um, all the big names of uh, Latin America used to come and play. And so that was definitely inspiring, seeing so many bands play and, and doing music in Spanish and stuff. I, previously, my scene was like the industrial and gothic scene. And, and even more recently than that, it was like drum and bass. That was my thing. And, I kind of started going to see the Spanish shows because I used to like groups like Duncan Du, Mecano, those groups that nobody knows about anymore and stuff. So basically that was pretty much it. 